How big did it say? At least 20 by 15 is what it said. So that's at least... At least that. That'll do for starters. 20 by 20. We may go off in different directions. I'm still not sure about this road yet, but I've got the feeling that I don't know. I, ju I just don't know with this road. Big picture. Is this the entire map size right now? Are you playing in sandbox? Uh, no. I'm playing on easy economy mode. But not sandbox. You're welcome, I enjoy. I need to get rid of this. Hmm. So you can have more than one loading site if you want to. That's interesting. Because they're kind of using both right now. Why can't you just make a bigger one? Why can't you just, like, have this and then expand the area? Like in, uh, in Sim Airport, you can just block out an entire holding area. Which is kind of handy. I think it does that better. Uh, Spanker J, not bad. It's going well. Chugging away. I'm not in any particular rush. I'm just kind of doing it around all the other things I'm trying to do. These are going to need repairing soon. Money's just going like that. It's not good. Construction costs. Building costs 900. Employee costs 67. Vehicle operation costs 200. These fuel trucks cost a fortune. How much should we actually get in aviation fuel? $34? Wait a minute. I'm paying $200 to operate four vehicles and I'm only getting $34 back in fuel sales. Is that just because it's night time? Maybe in daytime it'd be a lot more, but that's a bit insane. Let me accelerate time here. $200 an hour for some fuel trucks that are doing around absolutely nothing. That burns, man. Hey, Bean Talk. cheaper to just leave these as grass runways, you know. <laughs> a lot cheaper. You can change the price of the fuel you sell, as well as the aircraft handling fee, passenger handling fee, aircraft. How? How do you do this? Economy. Fees. A CFO is required to modify the fees, hire one via the board panel. Oh my god, I need to go and hire a person and fork out loads of money just to do this. Foxy error. I just turned 18 today. Here's some money. You deserve it. Keep doing what you're doing. I'll be watching most of the time. School of Foxy. Happy 18th birthday. 
Have a good one. Don't get too drunk, okay? View applicants. I don't have anybody applying to be a... Wait a sec. Wait a sec. A CFO. We'll come back later. Nobody wants to be a CFO for us. Plenty of other applicants, which is interesting because I don't... I haven't actually advertised for a janitor yet, but they're applying anyway. We've got no CFO, so I can't do anything. Uh, you just renewed your Twitch Prime sub, Adeldril. Thank you very much. Welcome back. When do you plan on starting streaming some flying, Mr. Edwin? If I can get my DCS 2.5 operational tomorrow lunchtime, then I'll probably stream... Uh, some DCS in the evening, and we'll we'll have a play. I'll get back into some DCS. That's going to be the quickest way to get me flying again because I can't. Like my X plane's going to take a bit of time to get back up. Welcome to the Nut House. Have you opened the position? Uh. Well now. Well now. You say that. Uh, no. But, you know, I was just testing to see if he was awake. Uh, Flea Junk. Can we give Flea Junk a nutty welcome? Thank you for your support, Flea Junk. Welcome to the Nut House. Double sub! Interspline, thank you. Welcome back. You're playing what, Fatty? DCS? Uh, Battle Cattle, I think the last time I spoke to Matt about DCS, his words were something like, you made me uninstall the game. So I very much doubt. Uh, are the cargo ship simulations where you drive the ship? Um, I think there is one. Ship Extremes or something, but wouldn't really recommend it. FSX. I haven't played FSX for about four years. I do P3D and x plane now. My, my P3D is not a priority right now. I want to get my x plane going first. Still no applicants. Outrageous. What's this data tab for? It doesn't do anything yet. Module not found. Graph not available. Approval ratings. To the Average house. approval rating. Sad face. General aviation 10.5%. Oh my god, that is bad. Why are they so upset with my GA service? <laughs> That's unreal. What have I done wrong? Two stands aren't set to set GA. What the heck? I thought I'd done this. Oh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Kessler, the guy. Thank you for subbing. Welcome to now as Kessler. I'm not getting more fuel trucks. Bro, I'm already forking out $200 an hour for four fuel trucks. The The thing is, what can I look at that, that gives me insight into why? Why they're not happy? What, what can I go to sort of see the details on this? Ten point five. That is really bad. Twelve parked aircraft. Oh, two yeah, hired yeah. employees. That's a CIO and a CFO, presumably, or CEO and CIO. You aren't able to fuel them all Welcome the time. Back. What? So the game wants me to hire more fuel trucks just to do that, or should I just get the faster ones that cost a hundred an hour? Why would I get A1 fuel, bro? You don't put A1 fuel in a GA plane. Poor Jimmy JJ. Welcome back. Fluffball Shadow. Safely down at KSFO. Beautiful approach. Didn't have to vector almost at all. 
On a slight left turn before the localizer landing with landing rate of minus 127 feet per minute. Exit on uniform. Roll onto cargo ramp. GG, sir. Well done. A flight without incident is a flight you want. No, Atlantic, they don't, mate. In this game, you have to use a different kind of fuel. See, this is what you want. Avgas 100 LL. Aviation fuel type used typically by GA aircraft. This is what you want. Uh, the planes don't move around at night. Basically. Apparently nobody's got night rating, so they don't move. So your runway just burns money overnight, which really is annoying. Because, like, airports are 24-hour operations, aren't they? Press at the planes, and you will see that they use A1. Uh, okay, what am I looking for? Fuel level, jet A1, 10%. Is that what you mean? Is it a bug? I don't know. It's not supposed to use A1. I don't think. Uh, let's get rid of that. It's not actually letting me get rid of this thing. It's a bug. Don't get why I can't demolish that. Right, items. Ooh, bus shelter. That's new. And a bus shelter, a glass bus shelter. Happy anniversary. Take it, we just want these like here, don't we? Let's see how that looks. Chili Willies, 21 months. Hope you're well in the house as well today. Thank you, Chili. Are you going to Vegas? I can't remember if I asked you or not. You're going to Flight Sim Expo. Where's the doors gone? Let's be under items. Chairs. Info desk, check in desk, office desk. Where's the door? There used to be a door and a double door, I think. Structure. Oh, there's the light pole. I was looking for that before. Important. 
Ten dollars for a light. If only, eh? If only. Uh, you are the trip funded as your registered account book flights until March when I'll have the exam sh uh, scheduled, but I'm looking forward to it. Nice, nice, nice. It's going to be lit, man. Doors, here we go. Uh, wooden door, slide door. In 25, that'll do. And an airport, you can never have too many doors. Put some ticketing down here, possibly. Need to know which day you're going to leave. Um, you're going to fly to Vegas Thursday morning and get there around 2 to 4 p.m. I'll be coming in, I don't know, either the Tuesday or the Wednesday, I think. But I'll be, I'll be landing in the afternoon. I think I take off my time morning and then I land in the afternoon. But obviously, by the time I land, my body clock will think it's nearly midnight. So I'll then have to fight to stay awake. Which I intend to do by walking around Vegas. <laughs> I'm looking at everything flashing. Whoa, look at them all lining up. that 2,000 repair bill. We're just bleeding money. So yeah, well, hang on. What's the economy now? Um, let's have a look. Aviation fuel sale, zero. I'm just burning money. Let's see what happens when these guys come in. I want to see how much we get for this. When do you go? Oh, it's only in June, Blue Brothers. It's not for a while yet. <laughs> Considering it's directly related to your major. <laughs> well, I don't know, Matty. If you look at Google Flights, um, Tuesday and Wednesday, there's, there's like five pounds in it, you know? There's, there's nothing really. It's more a matter of when I come when I come back. You see, because my thought is, if I come back on the Wednesday, I'm going to be jet lagged and, and then potentially streaming on Thursday. So, is that a good idea, or should I come back on the Tuesday? In which case, I've got a day to recover and then stream on Thursday. And if I come back on Tuesday, the when do I go? Do I go on the Tuesday? Go Tuesday to Tuesday? Like that's an option. But that's why I'm not going to go Wednesday, because if I go Wednesday and I come back Tuesday, I'm only getting six days. And, like, I'd rather be there for seven days. Like, have a week there. Because it's a long way to go, and I want to have, you know, two of the days are knocked out with flight sim. So that leaves five days, and then, obviously, your travel time. So you're probably only looking at, like, three or four days to actually enjoy Vegas or surrounding areas. What airline? I've not booked anything here, the Chuck. But there's only really a couple of options. Um, BA or Virgin Atlantic. Um, unless I wait until April, at which point I could start looking at Norwegian. Because Norwegian, for some stupid reason, Norwegian Airlines don't allow you to book more than three months in advance. So I can't book anything with them until June is in that three-month week, three month window. Uh, Foxy, yeah, it's been updated quite a bit. Um, let's see. Aviation fuel sales, $136. This is absolutely rubbish. $148. That's going up now. I don't think it... Daily. Let's have a look at daily. Fuel sales daily, 5500 Operating costs on vehicles, 4800 So even with so many planes, right... It's 
going up again. 8,400, 8,900. Alright, it's going up now. I was about to say, we're only just breaking even. <laughs> National Lampoon presents Squirrel's Vegas Vacation. Yeah, our friend is working on getting a tour planned of Nellis Air Force Base. Oh, man. Not sure if it's something you're interested in. If you can, I try and walk you and coordinate. Oh, I, w I would so... I I'm bringing my cameras, um, Chili. But I would so be up for a tour of Nellis Air Force Base. I'd bring my cameras if they'll let me. And, um, yeah, because I'm going to, like, vlog some of it. So that would be that would be awesome if I'm allowed to go with a camera. That that would be well cool. Uh, you're from Norway and I've booked stuff a lot later in three months. I've been for help. Go to the go to the website. You'll see. Go to Norwegian Airlines, right? And then put in uh, London to Vegas and then see what dates you can pick. And you'll see that the available dates just stop after three months. Mr. Rice, welcome back. Three months. Okay, Shirley, cool. Fuel sales, 15 grand. Okay, we're starting to make money on that, so that's all right. So it is actually worth doing that. Because we're actually breaking a profit. And the question is, do we have enough of these vehicles to go around? Fuel level's low on that one. Wait, what is this? I don't know. How do, how do you get a feel for whether you need more trucks or not? We've got one truck here. One here. Let's see what he does. This guy, he's still got fuel. He's been refueled. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. That's three, four waiting. Five, six waiting for fuel so far. And another one coming in, presumably, is going to be empty. Oh, wow. Is he just departing? Please tell me he's not landed. Oh, he's departing. That's fine. <laughs> Are you going to the old Vegas or the new one? I'm going to Las Vegas. Well, you know... Landing at McCarran International. The company in Norwegian not shocked about them not offering any customer service. I, I, I've never flown with them. I don't know. <laughs> Evan is cool. How you doing? Uh, what about this A1 fuel now and what fuel are they requesting? Um, they're getting filled up with the L1 VVV or whatever it is. They're not getting filled up with A1. We don't have A1 tanks. We don't fill with A1. Anyway. Let's see what we got. Let's slow this down. Um, okay, tutorial. What does it want us to do next? Terminal passenger flow. Here we go. Construct two or three checking desks. Zone part of the terminal as secure. Security checkpoints, boarding desk near a stand. Stand should be against the wall. Build a boarding desk near a stand. Stand should be against the wall. Not for save. Uh, they haven't planned any flight that far out yet. Yeah, but Trond, everybody else does. That's the point. <clears throat> Let's think. If I want to build another runway that goes north, I'm going to have to unlock more land. Or stick it over here, potentially. Although I imagine... I can't build anything but a small runway right now. That's interesting. Oh, 
Old Vegas is way cheaper. There's a new Vegas is very costly. I don't know, Southern Fried. Like, I was quite blown away by the fact that car parking in Vegas is mostly free for the first hour, <laughs> which is just mind-blowing. But, you know, I was told that they'll do anything to make you park up and go gambling, so it kind of makes sense. Um, let's see. So, arriving passengers are going to come out this way as well. We want to reserve space for future expansion as well. How many runways are we going to have in total? Probably at some point we're going to have two big, big runways, aren't we? And then we could have like another go that way and have a separate terminal. A few things you need to keep in mind flying on wage and don't be late. Don't have any special needs. Don't have too much weight and don't expect too much and have a pleasant flight. <laughs> I take it you're not a fan then. Well, the small runway extends up to 900 meters if you use it. Uh, the full map length, that is enough for medium aircraft. You stop flying. They stop flying to Vegas during the higher temperature seasons due to limitations flying to Vegas during hot temperatures. All oh, right, okay. All right. Former Air Force Security Services. You can bring your camera, but your guide will let you know when you can and can't take photos. Fair enough. Fair enough, Buzz. I think I'm getting mentally mixed up with Sim Airport. Um, if I upgrade this to go to the north, it's 640 meters. Surely... Do I really want to be sharing these runways with, with the rest of the GA, though? That's the problem. Uh, Captain Clark, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the house. Thank you for your support. Can we give nutty welcome for Captain Clark? I'm a bit worried, Baz, about chucking like jets onto this thing because it's pretty busy with GA. I'm kind of thinking along the lines of separate runways. Maybe a road that goes across here like that uh, so that stuff can get over to here eventually have a separate terminal. Um, don't know. Could go north with this thing. Put the runway here. And then expand it in that direction. At what point can you buy more land up here? Eighty-eight seconds latency is very not normal. <laughs> you cannot buy a lot more land in the. Oh no no no! Wait a minute, Baz. There was a way of doing it though, wasn't there? There's a way of doing it, Baz. Wasn't there an, an ini file? Isn't there a get like a file that you edit that unlocks it? I'm, I remember this now. It's coming back. I'm sure you can, Baz. Northern Axe, thank you for the host. Let me pause it one sec. I've just got this feeling that there is. Yeah, you can hack the save game. I, I knew there was a way of doing it. Um, what is it? App data, roaming... CO saves. Not four. Let me save this. Save not five. And then quit to menu. Uh, was it game data? I'm trying to think of the name of the file. I just want more space, Baz. I don't care if I'm cheating. Yeah, I found my game data. I'm trying to remember what it is. The what the what's the thing he called? The bit that I need to change. It's something like. I have to Google it, aren't I? Airport CEO Unlock tiles 
Top left, unlock force. There we go. Unlocked. Left, unlocked. True. Maybe that will do it. Uh, let's see. Not five load. JSON. JavaScript object notation is a file type. Um, there you go. Ah, beautiful. Freedom. Freedom. Uh, you're welcome, Yod. Thank you. That's better. We're not restricted by that nonsense now. Until the game provides it, I can't pay for it. Okay, departing passengers, arriving passengers, secure area. So what we need to do is we need to have an area here. <clears throat> so we'll probably have some like ticket booths on the left, ticket booths on the right. We'll probably have... I'd like to guide them through security a little bit. We'll have security in the centre bit there, I think. This can be where they buy tickets. Probably need to think about shops and stuff later as well. So let's let's leave plenty of space because I can always expand that bit, but I can't expand this bit. So structure, we want a. Hmm, fence. I'm trying to remember when we need to use the fence, actually. We need toilets as well. Because you need toilets before security, you need toilets after security. We're working since about eight hours on that airport, but still some time from opening bands. Yes, great me, you do. No, there's a fence in this as well. Plus one, plus four. Secure staff. Oh, yeah, we need staff. I might put the staff over here. Staff quarters, we'll build that later. Yeah, look, see, structures, fence. A basic fence to keep unauthorized persons to enter the airport. No, fence is only decorative and serves no function yet. Okay, so yeah. So some airport has implemented that, but they've not implemented that in airport CEO yet. That's fine. Vehicle chair, aircraft stand. Decoration. A holiday festoon decoration. <laughs> well, what I want to know, Nikki, did they optimize it as well in this thing? Because um, it used to get like pretty laggy at one point. It feels a lot smoother, but we'll see. Info desk, check-in desk, boarding desk, security checkpoint, secure area, chairs, armchairs, okay. Gate seating, information screen, office desk, we don't need that yet. <clears> Thank <throat> you. 
<clears throat> Concrete tile. Basic does nothing but adds a nice feel to your airport surroundings. Well, thank you, Bob Russell. Have you done Prison Architect? I don't, I don't know what it is about Prison Architect, but I just... I can't, I just, I just don't dig it, you know? Just don't dig it. I can't explain to you why. Toggle zones, toggle rooms, toggle taxiways. Use toggle conveyor belt. Anyway, let's see. Let's leave plenty of space. Let's get that wall going there. Thank you, Presley. Are we going to fly the ITD 77 update when you get X-Plan 11 installed again? Uh, it's not on my priority list. Um, there are other aircraft that I'm going to fly first, I think, before I install the IXCG. I always get a little bit frustrated with IXCG because they don't seem to release updates as quickly as I'd like and I don't know. It's a bit like the Air 4 Labs 172, they're the same. They, they, they're they quite happy to just not fix bugs quickly. And that I find that slightly irritating. Repair your runways. Baz, dude, they're fine. They're like 78%. What is wrong with you? They're just dirty, Baz. It happens when tyres hit them. What are we doing right now? Basically, if you look at the tutorial here... Uh, We've done all the geo stuff on the left, so that's all up and running. Now we're going for the more, like, the jets and stuff. So we're basically bringing in this stuff. So what I'm doing is building a wall here to separate the, the public from the secure area. Think of it that way. So we need to zone part the terminal as secure, which we'll do when they build a wall. Uh, we're going to need to construct two or three checking desks. Uh, it says build a stand and enable commercial flights, build a boarding desk near a stand. So the stand side of things we need to think about in a second, but we're probably going to need to expand it that way a bit. Conscious of money though. Um, I don't want to build my stands like here, this is far too close. I mean, let's face it, I need another runway to be honest. I don't have another runway for for the big boys. Uh, they did improve performance, patched out a mass... Yes, I saw the memory leak thing. <laughs> I saw that memory leak um, post. Let's build that. Actually, no, 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 let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's build this side. Wait, how big is a stand? Structures. Aircraft stand. 150 grand? Okay. That comes up to there. That's a lot of money. So they're basically 10 by 10, aren't they? Let's 
So that would be big enough. If we put like one stand here, that would be big enough area to put the checking desk, seating, blah, 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 blah. And this can just be the secure lounge area. Um, we'll probably put the seating here, then allow people to walk past, and then we would have like another area, another stand, another area, another stand, and we just keep going that way. And then the taxiways would go on this side. Uh, so the runway would sit here, probably. You just bought the game yourself. Nice, dude. You can start off with the small ones. Yeah, I guess you can. You guess you can, but... If you want to get the big boys in, you know? You have two check-in uh, check terminals and three departing terminals. Yeah, it's the baggage that's that's when it gets interesting when you start building baggage. Right, so this bit. We need to figure out the secure bit now. Uh, let's see. Security checkpoint. Security checkpoints. Enables people to enter a secure and requires one security staff to function. Enables pizza and secure is gone. Uh, comes complete with a metal detector and an x-ray machine. Requires four people to operate. I guess as we're just starting out, we should probably go for the small ones. Must be placed inside a secure zone. Right, so I need to do that first. Secure. So we're going to mark all of that secure. I mean, all of that's going to be secure as well. You found this sim nearly impossible to keep positive money in the sim. I would imagine, better boxy, that the economics of the game have not been properly balanced yet. So that's why I'm just playing it on easy. You could just play it in sandbox, though, and enjoy it that way. Because I think, you know, once the game nears completion, that's when you would expect the economics to be properly tuned. I think how many we're going to need. Probably later on, we're probably going to have to build bigger ones of this. But for now, hopefully that'll do. Uh, walls. Now we need to build. I I take it we're going to have to build a wall in between here because I'm if I'm gonna. Well, I suppose it depends how you want to do this. It would look a bit rubbish if I didn't. I think it might look better like that. And then just open up the front bit. I'm thinking that's what's going to look nicer. Thank you, Envid. I hope I got your name right. Still didn't get destroyed. What the heck? I don't seem to be able to destroy this thing. Keep control clicking. It just doesn't go away. Can't get rid of it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. <laughs> Destroy that. 
Boom. If in doubt, get the bull the bulldozer out. Uh, Captain Clark, thank you for the thousand bits. I've been watching since the daisy days. Thought it's about time to give back and support such a wonderful guy and community. Thanks, Will. Thank you for the thousand bits, Captain Clark. Been around since daisy times. That's that's going back. Um, what else do so we need? Two or three checking desks. Okay, so we now want to go with these checking desks. Uh, information desk need to be nearby as well. Now this is where we need to be careful because this is probably going to affect the whole baggage thing later. Didn't I put them against a wall last time and there was some big mess? <laughs> right, any tips for planting these guys down? Do I want to not have them against a wall? Because something said put them against a wall. The stand should be against the wall. Bill of boarding desk, no stand. Stand should be against the wall. These, I don't know. We need to connect the baggage system. E3D. Um, I do, but I've not got it installed at the moment. Not against the wall because behind them the belt needs to run. Yeah, I seem to remember something like that, but... Also, we need to have an area to queue in, I remember. Do you have a YouTube channel? Well, yes, I do. Back. Yeah, exactly the same as my That's Twitch. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash squirrel. There's also, Bob, there's also YouTube.com forward slash squirrel plus. So squirrel is my kind of pre-recorded, edited video place. And squirrel plus is where the archive of the streams is. So take your pick. I'm going to leave a gap of two there. So we're going to do. That should give us a bit of future options. EXP, thank you for 15 months. Helgi, thank you for the resume. Uh, Checking desk we've got now. Uh, we need to get the... Information test provides passengers information requires at least one airport staff to operate. Hmm. So I'm kind of thinking an information desk would be like, boom. Walk in, oh look, information. <laughs> um, boarding desk, check-in desk, security checkpoints. Where's the queue thing now? How do we build a queue? Is it a structure? Nope. Did you fix the issue with monetization on the 18 wheels? Uh, yeah. It, I can get them all fixed uh, on YouTube. The problem is I have to do a manual request. Basically, the, the YouTube bots go around. They mark my stuff as not suitable for advertisers. I then have to fill in a request, send it off to YouTube, they then look at it and then release it. And it's just a pain. Yeah, Bob, we have a great community here. Another one, Q versus line. What? How do we build a Q? Crosswalk, sidewalk, public road, checking desk. Remember on Sim Airport, there's like a queue thing and then you just drag it out. Queue versus line. But a line, a line is just two points connected. A queue is an ordered, an ordered queue of people. A line is just a, I can draw a line with a pencil. Can't draw a cue with a pencil. A line is not an ordered structure, is it? <laughs> yeah, 
You can't make the queue. You can make the queue once they're built. Right. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Okay, let's have a look. Build a boarding desk near a stand. Uh, okay. Stand's going to go over... Oh, God, I just rotated. Structure. Stand, aircraft stand. Uh, do we build a big aircraft stand or a small one? 50, was that 60? 60,000, is that? For a small one? 150 for a big one. Ouch. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to go with the small guys and build this up, aren't we? Otherwise, I very much risk making us bankrupt. I just... It just means having to land and braze and all kinds of rubbish. But, you know. We'll suck it up. To the nut house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now. I seem to remember you need to leave space for the... What is it? The baggage loading trucks or something? You need to leave a space next to it. There's something like that. Muddy Wilbury, thank you very much for subbing. Muddy, welcome to the house. Thank you for your support. Thanks for giving him a nutty welcome, guys. Robert Boswart with 25 months airport construction GG. Other way around. What like that? So I guess the taxi, uh, sorry, the service road's going to run on the same side as the um, terminal. Which means everybody's going to have to cross the... There's no jetways in this, is there? Or does it put a jetway on? Oh, it's a small one, it doesn't have a jetway. Right. Okay, I'm on the right page now. Okay, so we could probably... I could probably build two of these for, for 60, couldn't I? If we're going to start building a big runway, we're going to need to make money out of that runway. Let's branch out and go for two. Get some foundation in there as well. I assume we're going to have to block this out. And this as well. Um... Service road can come over there. At the top of the parking is a service road, so the pad just connect them. Well, here's the thing, right? How are we going to refuel these guys? Can't use this lot. Unless we can squeeze a road down there, maybe. No, we can actually squeeze a road down there. But we can't get it wrapped around. Where do the refueling trucks go? Uh, what did you do? What did you do? Want to do before YouTube and Twitch? Well, uh, I was. <laughs> It depends how far you want to go over on this one. Um, at one point, I wanted to be an architect. I remember that. In my early teenage years, I wanted to be an architect. And then... I walked into a shop and saw... a Commodore VIC-20 and a ZX Spectrum. And that was it. I was hooked on computing. So then I wanted to go into software development, which is what I did. Um, got a computer science degree and then spent years in IT. But throughout all of that, I played games, always played games, never stopped playing games. 
And in the end, I kind of got to this point in my life where I just went, what do I really want to do? <laughs> what do I enjoy the most? Is, is it building systems for, for people? Building business systems? Or is it playing games? And uh, having fun entertaining people? And I chose the latter in the end. Uh, Sheepdog Man Burr Pig, thank you for nine months. Yeah, right, Donny. <laughs> you know the squirrel meh emote? He's doing exactly that on the carpet right now. Uh, let's see. We want to get rid of this wall as well, don't we? Yeah, exactly that one. <laughs> oh, he's changed now. He's lying on his side now. Yeah, I don't think he wants a poo. He just... He's just fed up. He's bored. Because everybody's gone out the house, so he's like, what do I do? It's not like he can put TV on, you know? Uh, just like a hacker. Thank you for subbing. Welcome to the house. I was just thinking how difficult it must be to be a dyslectic hacker. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Nutter. Uh, you need what? You need secure exit too. I know I need doors and stuff. Let's see. We need to. Um, we need to build a check-in desk. Sorry, boarding desk. We need a couple of those things. I think for a small terminal, one's enough if I remember for a small stand. Oh, look at that. That's annoying. Welcome I, I, my OCD Welcome kicks back. off when I see this. I can't center that. It's going to be offset from the... <clears throat> Thank you for the resume, Ryan. Welcome back. Legit game of one and a half years. Say what? Thanks for amazing content. Not here much due to IRL. Uh, go on Acting Academy audition on Saturday 17th. Not going to lie. I'm pooping myself. Keep up the great work. Dude, good luck with that. Thank you for staying subbed. Appreciate that. Aye, 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 aye. Uh, I guess... I'm just going to now like that. And... Uh, oh, I can't build my net. Sommy! I'm back and trained and ready to roll. Speak with you tomorrow. I hope you're well. I'm all right, Sammy. Thank you. Trained? But what in? That's the question. Okay. Let's go out like that. Uh, but the board just need a stand. So you against the wall. Click on the stand. And, uh, I think we need to connect these, don't we? Okay, this is going to be taking commercial. Yeah, all right. Just let me turn that on anyway, dude. Okay, We're going to have to hire some staff as well, aren't we? Check-in staff and this staff and the other staff. Right now, we're just being held up by this. I uh, got you back into gaming. Learned all my computers in the basement with my dad. You do it as a living now. <laughs> I love I love software development, you know? At the end oh, of the day, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. coding. I love making a computer do what I want it to do and building something that other people can use. But you know, when you do when you do sort of business systems, I mean on the one hand, it's great working for clients that are really appreciative appreciative. You build a system for them that just changes the way they work means that they can be much happier doing their job like I've done that. But equally, I've worked for companies that are just, well, insert swear words here, but they're, um, they're very unappreciative and no matter what you do, it's never enough and it's always wrong and they're always changing their minds and all the rest of it because they don't know what they want. But they can't accept that. They can't accept they don't know what they want. And days like that and months like that just drag on. So it's like anything, you know, it's like any job, pros and cons. But like I say, ultimately, I came to the conclusion that I just, I love playing games and I always have.